Okay, Google just dropped the newest Android 16 update, and this time it comes with the new Material 3 Express design language. Let's go over it live and see how it actually looks. Check it out. Now in front of me, I have two Google Pixel 9 Pro XLs, both running Android 16. The difference is that this one is running beta 4, and this one is running the latest QPR beta 1 that just got released today. And on top of that, it comes with a new Material 3 Expressive update. Just swiping down, you can see immediately the difference. Uh, the quick settings, the notifications, everything looks different. If I swipe up here, even the app drawer has a new look to it. And overall, I'm just going to go all over all the new changes quickly just to give you a glimpse of what's new. Now, for those of you who don't know, Material 3 Expressive is Google's new design language that they're working on for the new Android 16 update and so forth. It's a step up from Material U, and they're basically going for a more expressive, fun, exciting new interface with a lot more animations, fluidity, bouncier effects. You get the point. Now, here's the thing. Even small things, for example, if I try to swipe away this notification here, you can see everything jiggles with it and it snaps right when I take it out and swipe it away. Now, here's the thing. If I try to swipe it away and maybe I don't want to swipe it, I can just let go and it bounces back. It snaps in with all the notifications to really let you know that, hey, you're about to snap it away and dismiss it or snap it back in and keep it. Pretty cool. Same thing within the recents page. So if I try to swipe up here, you can see this one has no animation, but if I swipe up here and let go, a little bouncy effect. It's kind of subtle, but you can see it there. If I do it really fast, all the apps on the side jiggle really clean. And even small things got tweaked around. For instance, you can see here the app menu. It looks a little different. If I tap on it, the drop down menu is here and it got scrunched down to this little rectangle area, which is a lot cleaner in my, in my opinion, looks a lot nicer and still lets me do all the regular stuff that I want to do. Dismiss it. On top of that, for the home screen, the app layout got a little bit more modified. It allows you to have a lot more space. Uh, you can see the widgets here a little bit higher, even though it's still a four x four layout. And the at a glance got scrunched down a little bit, so it's a little smaller. You still can't remove it though. If I long press it, you can see there, no option to remove. Now, here's a new thing that I really enjoy. If I go into the wallpaper and style section, the layout changed as well, okay? I can swipe up, there's a new animation too. But that's not what I really enjoy. What I really enjoy is if I go into the more wallpaper section, I choose a new photo, I tap on this. Let's say I do this here as well, just to give you a quick comparison. Uh, if I tap on effects, I now get more options. I didn't get that before. Before I only got the cinematic wallpaper, which just turned a wallpaper into a 3D looking effect. Now I can do a lot more. I can turn my wallpaper into a cool new shape. Maybe I can change the background too, to give me a different look as well and I can add a weather effect too that's really neat. that's really neat so if I want something foggy maybe rain in the background snow the sun glaring in and I can increase the intensity of it so I'm gonna do snow so you can see there on camera it looks great and I'm gonna hit the check mark applies to both the lock screen and the home screen I hit next nice little effect there apply there you have it the new snow effect, and if I unlock it, I can still see on my home screen. And after a few seconds, it even disappears as well. Pretty cool, I love it. Another change, thanks to Material 3 Expressive, is the volume panel. So if I tap here, I have the volume bar. It has a nice little bar to it, really nice. If I tap the more option, you can see it's still the same giant menu that you still get as before, but they now have little bars on the side, but I prefer a more crunched down version or just floating options for the volume bars, that would be nice. Now let's get to the juicy part. So if we go into the quick settings, this is where things get really interesting. This is probably the biggest change in this entire update so far. The quick settings, you can see here, I have smaller ones too, one by ones instead of two by ones. Uh, and the way I do that is that if I tap on this pencil, before I couldn't do that, I tap on the pencil, it doesn't let me do that but I can long press a tile for instance, and I can scrunch it down just like that. And I can obviously move it around just like before. Uh, there we go. I can do that for any one of them. And on top of that, if I scroll down all the way, I can also see different categories of the tiles being within their same settings menu. So for instance, within the connectivity menu in the settings, you'd find these same settings 
That way it really tells you where you would find a specific setting a lot more easily instead of having everything being bunched up like this out of order. And on top of that, I also especially love that you can now just tap on tiles just to add them immediately before just on the Google Pixel for whatever reason, you would need to drag them all the way to the top. You can see there it's, it's a hassle. And then if you let go by accident, um, it would just, you know, you have to restart all over again or you would have to drag it where you want. It's, it's a lot more easier now too. And there's an undo button. That's nice. And for those curious for certain quick setting tiles, yes, of course, if you tap on them, the menu still pops up just like before and you can modify different things. Or one thing I really like is, for instance, if I tap to enable one, it has a nice little jiggle effect. You can see there, pretty neat. Before you didn't get that, you just tap it on. It would just have a little animation for the icon, but that's it. Um, that's another thing about Material 3 Expressive, just small little things like that, little little bubbles, little jiggles, little, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say jiggles. Bruh. Yeah, you get it, a lot more animations. <laughs> The lock screen also got a slight new change. For instance, you can see here, the notifications can now be minimized, sort of like One UI, so that way it's a lot more private. If you tap on it, it still pops up though. And even within the system settings, you even get a few new redesigns. So for instance, if I jump in here, you can see the icons, they're a lot more colorful, have circles around them, which is a nice touch. If I jump into a setting, display and touch, for instance, they're separated into sections now, each certain section just to get, make it a lot more easier to look at. The switches as well have a new look to it. If I tap on that, you can see it doesn't look the same as before um, with a little check mark and an X to it. And of course, there are some new features found within Android 16. The new one that I really like is audio sharing, as you can see here. It just lets you uh, share your media with your friends that also have LE audio headphones, so that way you don't have to share a headphone. Uh, it's really great. I already went over all the new changes found within Android 16. If you really want a nice detailed rundown, I'll, I'll leave it in the cards. Right now, I'm just going over the new design language that Google dropped because it's just so exciting. And yeah, that's just a quick glimpse at the new Android 16 QPR Beta 1 update with the new Material 3 Expressive design language. Let me know in the comments what you think. Honestly, I dig the update. I can't wait to see the future for, for what Google has in store for us. Uh, the apps as of right now are pretty much the same as before. I don't really see any of them changed yet. Uh, of course, those updates will come soon. And once those drop, I'll, I'll do a quick video as well on those. But as of right now with the UI, it looks great. I really love it. Even the quick settings, having this light mode instead of this dark mode, even when the dark mode is disabled is great. So there you go. If you enjoyed it, drop a quick thumbs up. If you like this new style where I just go straight into it live, Maybe even drop a comment letting me know if you like it too. Uh, I know it's not as detailed and the words aren't as professional, but I think it's a lot more expressive, if you will. So there you go. Thanks guys. Kapow!